Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Hello and welcome back. Welcome to Intermediate Class 6. That's right, Intermediate Class 6. We've made it through the first full week. How are you doing at home? Are you following along? Are you, are you following the material? Are you reading? Are you following with the student guide? I hope so. Okay, we're going to start with a little review of what we saw in Class 5. But first, I'm going to introduce my special guest, who has been here with me before. Once again, she's back by popular demand. Luca. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Doing really well, thank you. Glad to have you back, Luca. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, well, it's a pleasure to have you, as always. So we're going to practice here with the irregular verb to cut. Cut. Today I cut. Yesterday I cut. Okay. Easy. It's the same one, no? Piece of cut, cake. Cut, 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 cut. Yes. And in fact, when we get to discussing the present perfect, we will also see it is cut, cut, cut. But today we're going to just worry about the, the present and the simple past. Okay? Okay. okay. So, uh, did you cut yourself last year? Yes, I cut myself last year. Yeah. Did you cut your finger? Yes, I cut it with a knife. I cut, yeah, you cut it with a knife. Yes. Ooh. Did you cut it in, in the kitchen? Yes, I did. You did. You cut it in the kitchen. Were you cutting vegetables at the time? No, I was cutting some uh, chorizo. You were cutting chorizo and you cut your finger. Did you cut your finger off? Cut it off. No yeah. sé qué es. I, I hope not. I'm, I'm looking. In ah, fact, okay. I, can, I can see the answer already because I'm looking at your hands <laughs> and you still have all your fingers. You have... You have ten fingers. Well, we have fingers and two thumbs. So you haven't cut your, your finger off. To cut off is when you cut it completely, yes. sever it, which is a word that we saw in the la uh, a few classes ago, to sever. We, we talked about severance pay, right? Do you remember yes. that? How do you, how do you say severance pay? In Se Spanish. Severan... In Spanish, indemnización. Yes. Right? It's severance pay because you're being cut from the company. You're being severed from the company. But to cut, cortar, to cut, you can cut a vegetable. You can cut your finger. But if you cut your finger off, it means you cut it all the way and as you've completely lost your finger. I'm sorry. It's a disgusting topic, isn't it? But yes, it I'm is. sorry, but it's the crude <laughs> reality of... Of the language that you have to know this stuff okay. to cut off. I didn't cut it off. Okay. Sometimes on my shirt, I have a little, when I buy a new shirt, I notice there's a little thread, una tela, yes. right? And I, and what, do, what, what, what should I do with that? I, you cut it off. I cut it off. Yeah, I don't want it anymore. I don't, I don't just cut it a little bit to shorten it. I cut it off completely. Okay? Uh, so you were cutting chorizo. Okay, so the pronunciation is very important to cut, 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 no, eso no vale, right? Cut, right. cut, cut, repeat. Cut, 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 exactly the same as cut, a cut. Well, huh? that, well that's a no? little bit different, that's a cat. Ah, I cat. speak the long a. Cat, a, ah. gato, cat, 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 and this is cut, a, uh, a, uh, a, uh. okay. cut. cut, cut, okay. Uh, has your mother ever cut herself? No, she hasn't She's cut. never cut herself. No, I don't remember. Okay. I don't think so. Did Susan... Answer in the affirmative. Did Susan, did Susan cut herself yesterday? Yes, she cut herself yesterday. Did John cut himself yesterday? Yes, he cut himself yesterday. Did the bear cut itself in the trap? Yes, the bear cut itself in the trap. Yes, it cut itself. Itself. So with animals, really, we should say it. It cut itself. It's interesting. With animals, we say we, we, we do say it. Grammatically, we should say it. But when we start to get attached to our animals, our pets, people often say, oh, he's, he's beautiful. My dog, Fido, he's beautiful. I like him. But really, grammatically, 
if you if you follow the real grammar rules, you should say it. But I'm not going to necessarily encourage you to say it for your pet because, yes, it's grammatically correct, but in reality, it's better to speak real English than grammatically or almost robotically <laughs> robotic English. You know what I mean? Okay. Like the grammar books. Because sometimes there are some things that maybe aren't perfectly correct, but everybody says them. And this is one thing that we say. My pet, my pet dog... If it's a male, I would say he. Okay. But an animal, an unknown wild animal, we would say it. Like the bear cut itself in the trap. D did you cut yourself by accident? Yes, I cut myself by accident. Did you cut yourself with the broken glass? Yes, I cut myself with broken glass. Okay. Did they cut themselves last month? Yes, they cut themselves last month. Good. Themselves. Them themselves. Right. So, myself with an S and ourselves, themselves, right? Myself, not myself, yourselves. Yourselves. Selves. Right. So, yourself... Singular, yourselves. So the F changes to a V. V. Right? We have a very special relationship between the F and the V. We'll talk about that more in other classes. There are lots of opportunities to talk about pronunciation. Let's talk about the future. The future with will. So we have subject, will, and the verb. Okay. Infinitive. I will be here tomorrow. I will not be in Barcelona tomorrow. Okay. Will you be on television next week? Yes, I'll be on television oh, uh, yes. next week. You'll be on television next week. Will the students listen carefully? Yes, they will listen carefully. Yeah, and with the contraction, they'll... Yes, they'll listen carefully. Yes, they'll listen carefully. At home, will you listen carefully? Yes, I'll listen carefully. Very good. Very good. At home, will you pay attention? Yes, I'll pay attention. Luca, will they pay attention? Yes, they'll pay attention. Mm -hmm. Will they learn a lot of English? Yes, they'll learn a lot of English. Do you do you think do you think you'll come back to this show someday? Yes, I hope so. Okay, well <laughs> I do too. So yeah, so you could say yes. I think I'll. Uh, yes, I think I'll be back uh, in this show. Well, uh, back on, this on the show, or I'll come show. back. I'll come back to this show, okay? Or I'll be back on this show, okay? Do you think so? Yes, I think so. I uh, I think I'll be back on the show. Good, good. I hope so. Um, do you think? Do you think I'll be here tomorrow? Yes, I think you'll be here tomorrow. Do you think you'll visit Canada someday? Hope so. <laughs> yes, I think I'll visit Canada. Y sorry, you'll what? I'll visit Canada. Visit, visit, yeah. visit, visit. Yes, I th I'll visit Canada okay. soon. Okay. Well, soon. I th I said someday, algún día. Okay. Soon. This the sooner the better. <laughs> the sooner the better. Good. Whenever you invite me. <laughs> when it when it comes to visiting Canada, the sooner the better. Cuanto antes mejor, right? The sooner the better. Okay. Do you think you'll visit Canada someday? Give me an affirmative answer. Yes, at home. Yes, I think I'll visit Canada someday. Good. I think I'll visit Canada someday. Okay, very good. Word of the day. Oh, yes, it's time for the word of the day. Word of the day. All right, our word today is, how do you say, ocio? Uh, leisure? Leisure. 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 Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm exaggerating, as usual, but leisure. Leisure. Yes, so le, it's E, 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 leisure. Leisure. Yes. You, you never hear the, no? No, it's leisure, no. Le, not, le, not, no. Not leisure, no, leisure. Okay. Leisure. So leisure, ocio. Things you do for fun, socially... Yes, you in know, your free time. In your free time, leisure, leisure activities. At we can say at your leisure. What do you do? What do you do at your leisure? You know, for for fun in your own time. So our word of the day today is leisure. Ocio, leisure, like the 
Guía del Ocio. We could say the leisure guide. Right? The leisure guide. Yeah, okay. you could say that, right. Okay, good. Let's move on now to class six. Ask me if I think we'll win. Do you think you will win? Yeah, Do you, and w with the contraction? Do you think you'll win? Okay. And now, if you're in the group, you and I, do you think we'll win? Again. Do you think we'll win? Do you think we'll win? Do you think we'll win? Yes, I do. Ask me if I think studying is important. Do you think study is important? Studying. Studying is important. Repeat. Do you think studying is important? Good. Ask me that question at home. Kyle, do you think studying is important? Again. Very good. Do you think studying is important? Yes, I do. Of course I do. It's very important. Pronunciation. What? Okay, yes. Pronunciation. We have a pronunciation trick here. Do you think? We tend to say this all together. Do you think? 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 Ask me if I think she'll remember. Do you think she'll remember? Do you think she'll remember? Yes, I think she'll remember. Ask me if I think Spain will win the, win the next World Cup. Do you think Spain will, will win the next World Cup? Do you think Spain will win the next World Cup? I'm not sure. Yes, I will say yes. <laughs> yes, I think Spain will win the next World Cup. Do you think Canada will be cold next winter? Do you think Canada will be cold next, next winter? I do. What do you think? Do you think Canada will be cold next yes, winter? Yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think Canada will be cold next winter. I think can Canada will be cold next winter. Yes. At home, do you think Canada will be cold next winter? Yes, I think Canada will be cold next winter. Good. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? So, I give me an affirmative answer, Luca. Do you think he'll go? Yes, I think he'll go. Do you think we'll need it? Yes, I think we'll need it. Do you think they'll come? Yes, I think they'll come. All right. Do you think you'll learn? Yes, I think I'll learn. Do you think Real Madrid will win this year? Yes, I think Real Madrid will win this year. Oh, nice. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Vocabulary of the day. Oh, yes. It's time already for the vocabulary of the day. The vocabulary of the day. Are you ready, Luca? Yes, I am. Okay, at home, are you ready? Are you following along in your student guide? You can see them right there in class six. In your student guide, you'll see the five words, but we're going to review them now. We will review the words in detail. In fact, that's the first word. It's actually two words. But what does that mean, in detail? En detalle, ¿no? En profundidad. Yes, exactly. In detail. It's important to study your student guide in detail. In detail. In detail. Again? In detail. In detail. Very good. Very good. How do you say enseguida? Right away. Nice. Right away. I'll do it right away. And we have another structure, which is we, we can say right now, which is similar but not quite the same. Right now, ahora mismo. Hmm. But you could say, do it right away. I'll do it right away. My boss says, Kyle, record that show. Do it right away. He could also say, do it right now. And in that case, it's essentially the same because we're talking about doing something in the immediate future. Do it right away. He could say, do it right now, ahora mismo. But th these structures are different in that right away is always in the immediate future, whereas right now can also be used in the present. I can okay. say, right now, I am in Spain. In the present, simple. I can't say, I can't say right away, I am in Spain. I can't use that with the present to say, uh, talk about something I'm doing ahora mismo, right? Okay. I so right away is only be with future. Right away is with the future. Yeah, I'll do it in the immediate future. So we're emphasizing the idea that it's in the immediate future. Right away. Do, stop everything you're doing and do this right away because it's a priority. Okay. Right away. Okay. Um, esconder? To hide. To hide. To hide. Yes. To hide. At home? Hide. 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 Very good. Gradual. Gradual, 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 no? Yeah, gra gradual, gradual, like a grad. So, 
and with the adjective gradually, is your English gradually getting better? Yes, I think so. I think so, too. I think it's gradually getting better. The progress may be gradual. The progress is gradual, but hopefully it is constant, right? Right. And if you follow this course and listen to the radio show and watch the television, you will follow. You will make gradual but steady progress. Asunto? How do you say asunto? There are a few affair. Words. Affair, yes. Yeah. So an, an affair. We can talk about financial affairs. Un asunto. A financial affair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Asuntos, affairs. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on to talk about will and the adverb probably. So are you going to go home after this class? Yes, Probably I'll go home after this class. Yeah, you can say, I'll probably go home. I'll probably go home after this class. Yes, I'll probably go home after this class. Um, are you going to go to the office tomorrow? Yes, probably I'll go. I'll probably. Uh, I always put it in at the I'll beginning. probably. I'll probably go to the office tomorrow. Okay, yes, I'll probably go to the office tomorrow. Mm, okay. Is John going to go to the meeting? Say no. No. He's he he's probably not going to the meeting tomorrow. Yeah, or yeah, you could, you could say he probably won't go. He probably won't go. Will will he go tomorrow? No, no he, he prob probably won't go. He probably won't go. Um will you here here's a good one. Will you want chicken for dinner tonight? Yes, I'll probably I uh, want chicken for tomorrow. For I, what about for dinner tonight? Give me a negative answer. No. No, I probably won't mm, want a chicken for tonight. Ooh, yeah, for dinner tonight. I probably won't want. Yes. Won't want. Two ones together. No, well, I won't. Yes. Want. So two separate. Two, do you, do yes, you understand but the difference? I mean, they sound very similar. Mm -hmm. I won't. Want, won't, 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 want, on, on, on. Can you hear the difference? Yes. I won't want chicken for dinner. I won't want chicken. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> for dinner. I probably won't want chicken for dinner tonight. Repeat. I, I pro probably won't want chicken for dinner tonight. Okay, good, good, good. Pronunciation. What? We have to remember this pronunciation won't, won't. Again, there's a very long O sound. Won't, won't, won't. I won't, oh, oh, won't. I won't, I won't want chicken. I won't want chicken. Okay, all right. Will they come here tomorrow? Yes, they'll probably come here tomorrow. Okay, will you help me? Yes, I probably will help you. I'll probably. I'll probably help you. Okay. Will it snow in Madrid this winter? Yes, it will probably snow. Oh, it'll it it'll probably snow. It'll probably snow in Madrid this winter. Okay. It'll probably snow in Madrid this winter. It probably won't snow in, as much as in Canada. But it will probably snow a little bit okay. in Madrid it, this it, winter. It, it will probably snow in Madrid this winter. Okay. Well done. Well Thanks. done. Good job, Luca. We're completely out of time. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks to you. And thank you to you at home for listening to Class 6. Remember to keep paying attention, following in the student guide. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.